a hater in the house. That's what we got. And Sung Wook is on the play this game, too. It's going to be an uphill climb here for Horn. We'll see if he can get the job done. He's got a Mem Knight to start. We saw Inkmoth Nexus is the land. Here's a welding jar. But his hand actually looks very land heavy, not very explosive at all. No. Yeah. <laughs> a spring leaf drum and a passing of the turn. I would say not. I think maybe Shatterstorm was the draw there, perhaps? Yeah, I think that's one of those, like, fifth edition Shatterstorms where no one knows any of the fifth edition art because it's pretty rough. But I think that's a Shatterstorm. Oh, this brain's got it. I've seen that one before. All, I, all it takes, I got to see it one time. It's up there forever, then. I do love finding the ugliest versions of the dirtiest cards. Yep. If you're going to cheat a matchup, find that whiteboard choke, find that whiteboard sanctimony. Any fifth edition card will play. Make sure it has the reminder and rules text on it. Right. Everything. This means all artifacts. <laughs> <laughs> you cannot regenerate. A signal pass and a passing of the turn here for Horn. Andrew's just really firing on all cylinders right now. I wouldn't foothills the reveal <laughs> for Dark Confidant. Here comes old Bobby into the red zone. Let's see what our follow up will be. A copy of Tarmogoyf. Just an 0 1 right now. It can become a 1 2 thanks to the Wooded Foothills. 1 2 is good enough. Yeah, to beat Memnite <laughs> in a fight, it is. Look at Andrew's creatures. Yep. Andrew has not drawn one of the payoff cards. Right. He has to work hard to make a 1 2. That's There's right. There's not a guarantee he can do that. That's right. Gonna fire up old Inky. Red zone we go. Mem Knight is gonna hang out. And I like using a lightning bolt here. You're trading with either the Nexus or the Welding Jar. Both cards, uh, Shatterstorm is not great against. So trading a bolt here is, is a good use of mana and sets up the Shatterstorm to be even better next turn. Just cast your cards. Yeah. You can't take them with you. It's true. So just cast them. That's the one thing I found playing Jund a little bit in Modern many years ago, testing for Pro Tour Return of Ravnica, was you just got to dump your hand. Just get your cards out of your hand. Yep. Weldon Jar going to save the Inkmoth next. It'll be removed from combat, though, so no infect will be dealt. Tarmogoy is going to get bigger. See an artifact, an instant, and a land of the graveyard. So 3-4. Yep. And you're just confirming that he's dealing no points of damage. I think Andrew has a Volt Scourge in hand that I think he'll be deploying here in nice. just a moment. I think that's going to get cleaned up by old Shatterstorm here in a second. Yeah, it sucks I, because the game where the games where Affinity looks bad, it looks truly horrible. That's Fulminator Mage. And I believe there's a Kolagon's Command in hand. The question is, does Namsung have land number four? The answer is yes. And this is really bad news. If your opponent's in a spot where they're thinking about Shatterstorm on this board, bury all artifacts. <laughs> if they're thinking about Shatterstorm on this board, that means that they have a play in their hand nearly as good as Shatterstorm, which is really bad news. Yes. Which is truly horrifying. All artifacts have been buried. Bury, I believe, means uh, Can't no, be regenerated. no regeneration. Right. That's what I thought. I just want to make sure. It's been, it's been a minute. It's been a minute. That's good director work by our directors here, cutting to the face of the player who's just been Shatterstormed. Yeah. That's just, that's a really nice thing to As do. After bringing up the, that, that artwork of Shatterstorm. Yeah. Now let's take a look at the gentleman who has no more things in play, besides this Ink Moth Nexus. Dial it up. It's got one poison. Oh, the big Arkbound Ravager. That's in. I like firing up the Nexus here. I mean, you can shove on the Nexus and just hope, but you also saw a, a full mage get yes. revealed, so. This is really rough. Those artifacts are buried. This is part of the appeal of playing Jund. You've got a ton of removal. It's super cheap and efficient, very powerful, and you can close the game out pretty quickly. One infect gonna come across. And even the even the hope of maybe Dark Confidant will kill him, that's kind of out the window too, because the Colgan's command. Yeah. 
So it's gonna take a, it's gonna take one heck of a string of draws here for Andrew Horn to be able to win this game. And a lot of his draws are ornithopters and cards similar to ornithopter. Yeah. Terminates the reveal. Looks like we're going to terminate take care of this Ravager, perhaps. <laughs> and we will. Nothing to modular onto because Horn is tapped out at this point, so he can't activate the Nexus. It's unclear if he would even want to if he could. Here's an attack for seven. Tarmac going for five, six right now. Blood Crypt going to enter the battlefield untapped. There's going to be a Fulminator Mage. Getting him is unnecessary. You're, you're an animal. Leave his lands alone. You've done everything else this game. And that is going to do it. No getting him necessary. Nam Sung Wook is going to win this match here over Andrew Horn. Two games to one. Jund looks to demolish Affinity. A very, very good draw for Nam Sung. Not a great draw there for Andrew. It's a tough match for Andrew either way. It's going to be tough. And without Arcbound Ravager arriving on time, and Jun drawing a Shatterstorm, forget about it. Yeah. Not a lot to be done. Jun, a very popular deck amongst our pros this particular weekend. You see Namson Wook is 7-0 and o here with Jun. You saw Owen Turtenwald. He is 6-1 now with Jun. And Andrew Boswell, 7-0 with Jun. So. Yeah, I, I think that uh, of the pro player community, you're going to see a lot of Jun. You're going to see a lot of Grixis, either Control or Twin. And then in a distant third, you're going to see Amulet. I would expect those to be the three most popular decks among that, that part of the crowd. Yeah.